Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. So I've been uh, giving you guys some duos footage and clips, and uh, I've had a pretty good time in duos. Uh, most of the stuff you've seen on the channel so far had to do with like the pre-release event, where um, basically, you know, it was a for fun but slash competitive event, but it was also the first look at the cards. It's also kind of like organized versus organized duos, and it's really difficult to simulate quite that on ladder. I also believe that duos will really only thrive if the solo queue into duos experience is fun enough and engaging enough and draws enough people in. And uh, honestly, in terms of the concept, in terms of like I've done this now, I've done this on ladder, where I just queue by myself and try to figure it out with in-game commands with, with the RNG teammate. Uh, I do believe we're going up against people who queue up as a team together and probably use a voice comm and you know, so if, if you take this like competitively, it's probably not gonna work, but yeah, uh, it's fun. You know, on, on, on the bright side, it's fun, generally speaking, uh, it's cool. It's actually more fun than I thought it would be, in fact. I've generally been playing solo, but I thought I'd give duos a try with the solo queue, and it's actually pretty cool. I do encourage you guys to check it out. Um, but there are some pretty big things. Um, and, you know, let's first talk about some of the mechanics and stuff, because I think that these are pretty important things to go over. So I feel like if you solo queue into the duos mode, you should not go up against people who queue up in pairs because that would be really unfair and let's be honest the hearthstone in-game communications client is i mean i was going to say not good but really it's not existent um the few people who have added like an opponent that they've recently faced on their friends list have often been met with like um not the nicest words slash harassment from the other end because Typically, when someone loses a game, um, they're not so interested in being your friend. Typically, of course, there are exceptions. And that's basically the entire extent of uh, how you socialize within the game client uh, so far. And yeah, Hearthstone didn't come out like yesterday. So let's be real. If you're, if you're coming up with a, a partner-based game mode in Hearthstone... Uh, it really should be separated between the people who queue by themselves and those that queue together. Uh, the other thing that was a bit apparent in the playtest even is that, um, well, Hearthstone has this thing where not everything happens at the same time for everybody. And you might be thinking, say, what do you, what do you mean, Crip? Well, you know, it's it was a really big problem some some years back where it was such a huge advantage people were using software to like block battlenet stuff from like their their windows firewall and then unblock it so they disconnect for a split second and basically they'd skip combat with like this kind of like firewall software thing that was most definitely cheating but Blizzard never really banned anyone for it because uh, just about everyone who played competitive battlegrounds was doing this because, you know, in the era of high APM builds, uh, doubling your effective turn timer from skipping combat is a really big deal. And while I thought they would fix this early on in battlegrounds because, well, it's just a horribly, uh, horribly designed mechanic to even like wrap your mind around. Um, it has not been changed whatsoever, and now we have duos. So, yes, if one teammate, you know, they, they leave the combat, you know, they can kind of start playing stuff while you can't or something like that. But actually, it's it has a, a few far-reaching issues um, where everything is desynced from the partners that play together. Now, a lot of the time, this won't be that big of an issue, but sometimes it is a big issue. So it generally has to do with end of turn stuff. If one player has a bunch of things that trigger at the end of turn, like end of turn animations type of stuff, uh, only that player has that delay before combat begins. But the combat still takes the same amount of time. So if you have like a whole bunch of end of turn effects that take up like 30 seconds, uh, you start seeing the combat 30 seconds after your teammate starts seeing the combat. Now, this actually does 
become a problem because uh, the entire game becomes desynced at that point. Um, you're going to stop your combat session 30 seconds after your partner and this can result not only in just a short turn and in some cases with the uh, combat triggers that are crazy long animations like I've had 30 second turns on like turn 12 plus in duos which is crazy that is a ruined turn the fact that this is still a thing is mind-blowing but yeah um, this is some kind of desync where in this period you effectively can't engage with your teammate because one teammate is still watching combat sometimes again for like 30 plus seconds while you are actually in the shopping phase so basically battlegrounds has never been synced up but now they launch duos where they encourage you to work together with a teammate but they haven't synced up the game client between the teammates so that's kind of just like weird to me. And of course, the main part, why I really want to make this video, the game mode at its core is fun, but holy crap, the amount of bugs in Battlegrounds is mind blowing. Okay, now this is something that has actually become more and more frustrating as you know, the patches and seasons and years have gone on in Battlegrounds because um, Blizzard just doesn't really address bugs in Battlegrounds. Now, I understand that we get pretty good content when there is, you know, the, the seasonal reset cycle, even the mid-season updates have been, generally speaking, very good. I mean, hey, I'm still playing Battlegrounds, right? It's very good overall. But the amount of bugs that get fixed throughout that time timeline is, like, none, basically. Um, like, you know, we had Disconnect bugs and like the uh, you're not connected to Wi-Fi when you try to queue in yeah it only happens like you know once every like you know three four five hours of, of game time that's one in one in like eight games by the way one eight times you queue it fails to queue and says you need to connect to your Wi-Fi and obviously I'm not connected to Wi-Fi okay we use we use cables in this household um, so that bug uh, actually launched with battlegrounds and that bug is still here today. Uh, one other major bug that Battlegrounds launched with is the minions would kind of like dance and switch positions. Uh, now, usually it's just a graphic bug, but not always. And I've been getting reports that once again, um, this bug is back in action. Blizzard has fixed this bug, but every time they fix it, a few months go by and the bug comes back. And now it has come back once again. I'm just giving you guys some examples here. We're talking about bugs that Battlegrounds launched with. Okay, it's been like four five years now or since it's been a lot of years for battlegrounds uh it's been a pretty good time overall but like seriously that's insane to me um it, like i i really feel like we need to take a step back and actually fix bugs in battlegrounds and i don't feel like i'm unreasonable in asking for this because not only do we have a list of like 25 bugs largely to do with connecting to the game, the game crashing, the game freezing, locking up in combat. There's like 20 instances that happen on a pretty regular basis when you play Battlegrounds. Some nights, I'm like half of my games encounter an issue. Sometimes it's major, sometimes it's not. But now we have duos. So now we have two players that are trying to play together that are experiencing that list of bugs that has basically been with Hearthstone for the majority of the time it's been a game mode. Except in this recent patch, and obviously it's because they launched, you know, duos. There's a lot of new features in duos compared to normal battlegrounds, but as a consequence, there's a lot of bugs. Again. So we're dealing with like a massive list of bugs that are really problematic. There are quite a large number of new bugs, I'm not even going to list them, that freeze the game client, lock up the game client, crash the game client. A lot of them are duo specific. Uh, like for example, if your partner gives you a card when you are using like the, uh, as you'll see in the video, the discover option for the reborn beast or taunt a beast card. If your opponent is giving you a card while you have that screen up, uh, the screen locks up and you can't do anything. That's it. You just can't do anything. Uh, here's another really good one. Um, usually, if any bug happens where you have to restart your client while playing duos, you will not be able to get back in. People said that it usually takes about three to five game restarts 
to actually successfully get back into your duos battlegrounds match but when we're talking about a list well over 30 plus bugs that can crash or lock up your game client the fact that you have to restart your game client three to five times to be able to play again let alone the time disadvantage in that period is just insane uh, I think it is one of the first times that a part of Hearthstone might actually burn in flames, even though it's good content, just because of how bugged it is. And the reason I think it's pretty important to talk about this and actually have this conversation, just like, you know, like I think it's important. If you guys think it's important, you know, we should be talking about this stuff. And again, I'm, I'm stressing this because a large amount of the bugs that we had even before the duos patch are ones that just have never been fixed in battlegrounds and it really is becoming a problem in my opinion nevertheless enjoy literally my second game of duos and see how it went down as a few others a few of you guys have also experienced enjoy let's try it duos hero mmr solo queue duos I'm ready. Got to build up a team somehow. Goya curator, that's pretty nuts. Wait, why do we only have five armor? Doesn't Yasera start with like ten something? These guys have twenty-five armor. Like Yasera does not start with five armor. There's no hero that starts with five armor. Is Patchwork bugged in duels? I think Patchwork is bugged. Yeah, Patch Patchwork has more HP. I know that, chat. I know that. Ysera does not start with 5 armor. I think Patchwork's high HP is reducing the armor. The Twitch app says you share you Sarah should start with twelve armor. Oh my god. You're a star athlete, friend. Not helping partner. I'm not gonna buy random dragons, no. So, what's the score? The Geomancer early is pretty good. Fine. Oh, Ysera only has five armor in duos? I think a but why? Mario Sarah only has five armor. Oh, really? That I did not know. Bro, didn't you really spend four gold to give me this? Do not sell that. This one. This one. You can do it, bro. Yeah. Not this one. This one. Where does his two gold go? Oh, the interface is bugged? Oh. Supreme executive power. I just saw him lose two gold. Oh, he leveled? Oh, he's on one? Oh. Today's top scorer. Oh, 
아니고 어허. 패슨저 OP Passenger again. So, what's the score? Wait, what? Oh, the level up costs are higher. Okay, yes, gimme. Good play. Here's your coin. Supreme executive power. Yeah, that's not. You're today's top scorer! <laughs> he should skip his attack. That guy got this game. It's kind of weird. I mean, that's pretty close. My teammate's on two, so I think the biggest thing now is trying to pass him dragons. So, what's the score? Four dragons are really good. Just cash that in easy, I believe. That's ten, so I could level buy sell. Okay. Promo Drake. It's pretty good. Maybe he sells both Dragonling actually. Not the worst idea. You're today's top scorer! We didn't lose this one. If your teammates AFK, does it still affect your rating? Yeah, did you need to like not not be worried about your rating in this? Okay, give me that one.
Probably gold ren here. Reflect and repent. You're today's top scorer. Shields, oh, that's good. Uh, I gotta sell one. I guess that's fine. You'll have to train that one up. I should have probably sold the other one. Emotional support included. Yeah, that should be fine. Emotional support. So this is at the end of your turn, give a minion your teammate's warband divine shield. That should actually be pretty damn good. He's committing to the one drops. Yeah, but if he gets the T4 dragon that perms the buffs, that's actually not that bad. Freeze? I'm freezing for the macaw. If that's a good idea or not, I don't know. You're at the top of the bowl. Yeah, we literally lost because the gold run hit his only small card. That's it. Looks like a tense game. More shields. That's non-golden. I mean, yeah, maybe. Yeah, dude. That thing is nuts. Definitely want that. Don't, don't, don't need that. Do not send that over to me. That's for you. Bit late for another one of those. Like, I don't even know what you drop here. Probably drop the dragonling. How do I attract all these oh, minions? No, nope, looks like we're not Two selling words. the dragonling. Orange slices. I'm not sure he's read that card. In fact, I'm pretty sure he has not read that card. 
play, play this. Uh, yes. Literally anywhere. You're at the top of the board. I thought for a second I was teamed up with a good player. gems on a mech. It's actually bugged. Great. They bugged a card that has been in the game for like two years. Nice job, Lizzie. Was the Rugug? Oh, was it? Looks like a tense game. Those guys died or left? One of them left. I don't know how that works. Okay. No, it's a triple for that guy. Oh yeah, the mech horse. <sighs> yeah, I know you want that. I'm broke, okay? All right, I guess you can shield your own guys. That one plays well. Do we actually want to Reborn the goose. It's bugged. He bugged me out. Nice. Are you kidding me? I can't click it. It's bugged. You're today's top scorer. Are you actually kidding me? I can't click anything. I got sent a card while while choosing to give Reborn. I'm not sure if I'm alive, but I'll tell you what, having another beast on the board and giving Reborn to the Macaw would have made a pretty big difference. Nope, it just insta-crashes. Can you not re-log after you crash once? I heard people said they were crashing five times per game. Well, it's not like I could play. The, the discover option was frozen on my screen. I couldn't click anything. So there's, there's no point for me to try to wait that out. Wait, is this for real? You can't reconnect in duos? Are they not aware that like one in three games of regular Battlegrounds crashes out for one reason or another? Are they not aware of that? Holy crap. You can reconnect, but it takes multiple times. Okay. 44 seconds. Make sure to recruit some champions. Good luck, MVP. Yeah, the chart timer just like fast forwarded.
I wasn't even touching my keyboard, dude. You here. This anniversary wouldn't be the same without me, huh? Second place. Oh. 